Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built this BMW M3 with a very, very unique V8 engine with this sick blower sticking straight out of the hood. Today, I found what I think is one of the craziest car mods I have ever seen in this game. We are going to the salvage car auction. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. We didn't find just one. We found two of them. Both of them are two stars, but very different prices. This is the Ford Mustang from 1969. This is the Mach 1 version. Okay. The more expensive one though, yeah. This is also a 1969 Ford Mustang, but this is a drag trim version of this car. Let's just start up this auction and get some bids going in. What do we think would be a good price for a drag racing Mustang? Maybe like 10, 12K? I think that would be a good it. Or, 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 or seven. I don't actually know if I got a good deal. I, I mean, I feel like I got a good deal. It's only worth 6,600. Are you kidding me? We're just gonna gloss over that and we're gonna take this thing over to the car wash ASAP. I can just imagine this car ripping it down the drag strip with its bright red paint job. That is so cool. Obviously, this car is a little bit suspect. I don't even want to imagine what that suspension looks like just yet. For now, let's use up the welder. 500 bucks to get all of the rust off of the frame and stuff. Yo, it's actually got like drag racing tires, tiny little tires in the front. There are no tires in the rear, but you can, you can kind of see how big they will be. All of this stuff has got to go. Our front bumper, our hood. We don't actually have an engine. I now see why the Mustang was so cheap. There is going to be some insane customization options that we're going to be able to do. Yes, that was a parachute that I just removed from it. That Mustang actually looks very, very clean. I mean, we definitely need some new suspension, that's for sure. With this Mustang, though, I want to see if we can make one of Car Mechanic Simulator's fastest drag car. I'm not actually going to remove everything from my suspension. I'm just going to remove the parts that are in really, really bad shape. This cross member doesn't actually look that bad. Our rubber bushings are actually okay. I will come in and replace the brakes just because, I mean, you you, you probably don't want a, whatever, 2,000 horsepower Mustang with no, no brakes. You know what? I think we might replace this entire front suspension. It's a little bit sus. With the cross member out and finally the steering rack, that is our entire front suspension gonzo. Now that we've done all of that, though, our Mustang is basically fully stripped other than for our rear suspension. So now what I'm going to do is come over to our repair table, repair all of our parts. We'll try to save some money on this build again. Then we can start thinking about what engine we want to swap into our Mustang. One more fixer upper and we are looking good. What engines can we actually swap into this? Okay, we've got quite a few options here, all which are V8. That engine that was in here had a 1,600 horsepower too. I think that is actually a very, very good choice. Yeah, 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 let's go. V8 DOHC supercharged engine. This is gonna be a really, really powerful car. These V8 engines, no joke, are like the perfect size to work on. We're also gonna come to our salvage container and upgrade our parts even further. So those engine heads give 13% boost of horsepower each. So just adding these on, that is 26% more horsepower. Yeah, this is gonna be a two, maybe three thousand horsepower Mustang. All of our camshafts are also getting upgrades. That's four percent more horsepower. We have four of those. What is that? 16% extra horsepower? And then, yes, even my supercharger is getting an upgrade. That's so sick. We're literally gonna end up outside of the map. This is about to be ridiculous. Now we need some belts and some fuel rails. We're gonna get more boosts from them, actually. Let's see those fuel rails. Plus 4% each. 
without any salvage boost. I honestly think this is going to be the fastest car we've made in this game so far. All I need to do is all these, my rod caps and the crankshaft bearing cap. I think that is a new world record for fastest V8 ever made. So let's take it from the engine stand and hopefully... It'll actually fit in my Mustang. We'll see. One of these days, we are gonna clean this garage out, okay? Install our brand new V8 supercharged engine. How does it look in there? Yo, that works so well. That's awesome. For now, though, we've got to finish up this vehicle. So let's get it raised up into the air and let's get all of our suspension back on. No way are we not going to need to buy a single part for this car. I literally have every single part that I need to rebuild the entire suspension. Not only is this going to be the fastest car we've made in this game, but I think this is also going to be the fastest car we've made in this game. Double wishbone shock absorber in brand new suspension in the front. That looks awesome. Same thing on this side. Get this shock absorber in. And just like that, the front of the vehicle is ready to go. Now we got to do the same thing with the rear. Please ignore my nasty cross member. I'm too lazy to actually replace it. By lazy, I mean cheap. And by cheap, I mean I have 7.4 million bucks in the bank. Okay, maybe I'm just trying to screw over the person who tries to buy this car off of me in the future. But you know, car manufacturers have done more shady things than that in the past. Am I right in thinking we have no suspension in the rear? Like, it's not even leaf springs or anything. Okay, that is going to be the bumpiest ride in the world. So, apparently, our rear suspension is made up of, like, uh, seven parts or something like that. So, um, rear suspension completed. I guess now we can focus on getting our gearbox installed and our exhaust system installed because... Take a look at all of these. It's crazy. We've got side pipe. Can I actually get a tuned exhaust for this car? Yes, I can. So that's even more horsepower for us. Damn. And then I'm also going to get a custom gearbox for this car, which even adds more. 2,500 horsepower Mustang incoming. Also known as a death trap on wheels. I do need to get this big old radiator in there and a large intercooler and a small intercooler. Okay, there's actually quite a few more parts on here than I thought there would be. Here we go, large intercooler in, small intercooler also in. It's a bit of a jank looking setup, but it'll work. Radiator installed. Okay, I need a big old fan as well, okay. Fuel tank installed that is going right in the trunk. We can even get our upgraded fuel pump into the fuel tank. And I think with that done... That's all of the mechanical stuff done for our Mustang. Since this is going to be a drag car, we want the little T-Rex wheels. So tiny little wheels up at the front and massive wheels in the rear. Let's actually go for some standard tires in the front because it, it doesn't really matter. We'll go 15s, 135 is the smallest, and then 75 will match what was on the car exactly the same. However, for the rear... That's where we're going to change things. So we are going slick tires in the rear. A little bit wider. A little bit wider. Yeah, I think that looks good. Our front tires are so jank looking, but I kind of like that actually. That is more like it. That is what I'm calling the perfect rear wheel for my car. I'm really hoping we can get a wide body kit for this car, but yo, that's not bad. That is actually not bad. They kind of fit. You know what else is good about this? Look at how much bigger the rear tire is than the front tire. That's going to give the car a really aggressive rake. That is so sick. Let's get you outside. And now we can get some body panels for this. One thing to note about the Mustang in-car mechanic simulator. There are, I think, 16 different versions of this car. All of which unique in their own right. So... Say you use one part, you have to line that part up with another part from the same sort of set. Let's start off with the simple things like some doors, windows, windscreens, and so on. Okay. Correction, never mind. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 different doors. I guess I just have to pick one. This is a regular old Mustang door with no door handle. Fairly straightforward. This next version here, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Yo, that's cool though. 
with that little door handle. Very, very subtle. There's also no like pillar right there, which I kind of like. Window tinted installed. That looks really nice. Windows and doors installed. Why don't we focus on the front of this vehicle as well? Because that's where this customization is going to get crazy. Look at all of the fenders. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've got really normal things. Like this is a normal Mustang fender. This is like a wide body one. That's cool. We've got an RTR fender. I definitely need to try that. This Grand Touring Garage. I want to try that one as well. Let's start things off with the RTR. Okay, maybe that doesn't work in the front. And then we also had this Shelby part. Do I want to try that? Oh, that Shelby part is really, really nice. It also makes our car a lot, a lot longer too. And I got my clamshell. We'll get my clamshell installed. That's cool. Then I get my headlights in. Look at those halos. That is sick. Then I need a front bumper, a front end, and a hood. I'm going to need to use one of these Shelby hoods. I can go carbon fiber or just regular paint. I like the idea of carbon fiber, actually. So let's go with that. And I think that's our front done. That is mean. I love how low the front end looks. That is such a mean looking drag car, jeez. Anyways, after that, we need some rear fenders, okay? I definitely need to try the RTR parts. We definitely need to try the Shelby parts as well. Yo, the RTR wide body rear fits perfectly. I think, I think we, we need to go with that. Because our rear tires are so massive, we need a super wide rear end. And RTR is going to give us that. Okay, perfect. Does this have little louvers on it? Is that what those are called? Is that how you pronounce it? Louvers or louves? I never actually know. Let's start with that Shelby part. Let's see what that looks like. That is nice. So nice. I'm not really sure if it's the drag car look that I want to go with. RTR also looks really, really nice. But again, I'm not sure if that's the look I want to go with. May Do I actually want to go full-on drag car with this? All of Twitch chat is saying to go with the big old drag wing. Okay, we can, we can certainly do that. Let's get a rear bumper now and rear clamshell. That is so sick looking. Have I got everything? Actually, no, I haven't. Open up the door. I, I need my, I need a roll cage. Okay, one of those will probably look good, I hope. Let's go, let's try G first. No way. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're running that. Bye, window. Bye. That is so sick. After we spent, I think that, that feels like half an hour on this car. Let's take it to the paint shop and make this thing look so sick. Before I do anything, I think there's actually some liveries for this car if I scroll through. Yeah. Damn, we've got GT350 decals. GT500 decals. Damn. No way. We've even got these Mach 1 decals. What do we think about that for a livery? GT350 blue metallic paint job with our sick looking headlights, carbon fiber hood. That is crazy. So Twitch chat, make your predictions. How much horsepower do you think we have? A lot of Twitch chat is saying 2,000. I'm going to say 2,470. It doesn't actually make a bad engine noise either. That is revving super high though. 3,200 horsepower. <laughs> Oh my god. I really didn't expect the vehicle to be that fast. Don't get me wrong. I knew this thing was going to be fast, but I, I didn't think it would be that fast. That is insane. I guess now is the moment of truth. Are we about to actually take off in our Mustang? I, I guess we rev it up and we go. Up, go, go. Uh, whoa, whoa, Mustang doing a Mustang thing. No, where are you going? There's a slight problem with the Mustang. I'm turning. It doesn't do anything. Whichever person in Twitch chat said I wouldn't be able to turn, you are more correct than you know. Wait, does it work with the keyboard? It doesn't even work with the keyboard. I've literally built a Mustang that... Uh, no, don't tell me it's because I forgot. I don't have a steering wheel. 
Well, I think that will go better now. Do you turn now? Yes! It turns! It changes gear extremely slowly. I'm throttle controlling, by the way. There we go, 100%. 100% throttle. 300 miles an hour. 345. Oh. I'm like a Beyblade. I think the problem with this car is that it revs so quickly, the gearbox can't actually keep up with the revs because that's causing it to bounce around all over the place. Somebody's like, it drove better without the steering wheel. All right, we're gonna go proper drag car, four gears, extremely long gear ratios though. Come on, Mustang. Nope, no, 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 no looking for the crowds. Okay, go. First gear, we're up to second. Get on the power. I'm still throttle controlling. Now 100%. We're going. We're going. We're in fourth. 330. 340. 350. That was 360. Oh, we're gone. We gone. I think I might need some all-wheel drive if I do want to see what it can actually do. Because as soon as I... There we go. 100% throttle. Go. No. Gone. 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 Yeah, I need all-wheel drive. Give me a second. I really hope this was worth it. Here we go, Mustang. New gears, all-wheel drive, big ol' fat boy tires. Try to throttle control, I guess. I think that might be better. Better-ish? Just a gun. Just gun it. The gearbox is still very confused, but yo, yo, there it goes. That was nearly 400 miles an hour when it finally figured out what I wanted it to do. I'm just saying, developers, can we please get manual gears in this game? That, that would make these types of things much, much easier. There's 300. There we go up in sixth gear, finally. Oh, so close to 400. Okay, I'm doing one gear. This gear will take me to 500 miles an hour. There is no way you can mess up gear ratios now. Okay, roll off the line. Maybe it's not so much a drag car anymore. Maybe it's just built for top speed. Let's go Mustang, keep on rolling Mustang. There's 200. This is so frustrating because I just need to sit here and wait for the car to pick up speed. Then it gets the supercharger wound up and then it starts to go. Come on, come on. Get 400. Come on! This is it. This is the one. There's 350, 360, 70, 380, 400 miles an hour for the Mustang. We gone. Let's go. It might not be the fastest drag car in the world. I mean, it hit 400 miles an hour, which is definitely no joke. But our gearbox today absolutely destroyed us. At least on one hand, we've got a really cool Mustang from, from, from this angle. The moment of truth, though, after all of that, what is our Mustang worth? 80,000 credits. 80,000 credits for a 3,000 horsepower car that can do 400 miles an hour. I'm just saying, I, I think that's a bit cheap.